Kelly is facing life behind bars. If found guilty on a racketeering charge and eight violations of the Mann Act for sex trafficking across state lines. Right now, the jury made up of seven men and five women are pouring through weeks of evidence. 45 witnesses from the government trying to paint the star as the kingpin of a sex trafficking enterprise, using his fame and fortune to prey on girls, boys, and young women. And just five witnesses from the singer's defense team describing the alleged victims as groupies and hustlers vying to be a part of the Playboy lifestyle. The jury never heard from R. Kelly. Was it a mistake for R. Kelly not to testify? Absolutely not. That would have been suicide for R. Kelly to testify because putting him on the stand is like a Pandora box. Legal analysts explain these are complex charges, usually seen in mob cases, requiring all 12 jurors to be unanimous on each count to avoid a mistrial. Before the judge gave three hours of instructions, the prosecution asked the jury to, quote, find the defendant guilty because that is what the evidence demands. So keep in mind, the jury will reconvene on Monday. As you heard from that legal analyst, these charges are complicated. They have a lot to get through. And we know that they so far had one question asking to see a letter that one of the alleged victims sent their brother and also the floor plan to R. Kelly Chicago studio. We're likely going to see more questions as this continues. Again, a verdict is not expected until next week.